Hey guys, here's a quick video on expanding and simplifying brackets. I'm going to walk you through a few examples here. If you're in a longer version of this video, pop over to my class and channel where I just do loads and loads and loads of them. So when we multiply our brackets, we have to make sure what is outside is times by each of the things inside. So we need to do uh, 7 times by 5x, that is going to give us 35x. Then we need to do 7 times minus 3, that is going to give us minus 21. So overall our answer is 35x minus 21. When we're talking about expanding and simplifying, we need to take um, what we can currently see, expand out any brackets, and then collect all of the like terms together. So here we need to multiply out this bracket, so we need to take 4 times it by this, and times it by this. That will give us 4 times 2x, which is 8x minus 4. Then we need to take this 3 times it by this one, times it by this one, and that will give us plus 3x plus uh, 18. Now we need to get all of the things that are the same together. So here we have something with an x in and something with an x in. So we can go 8x plus 3x. Uh, here we have a number and here we have a number minus 4 plus 18. Now 8x plus 3x, you just add the 8 and the 3 together. So that will give us 11x minus 4 plus 8 will give us plus 4. So I've expanded out the brackets and I've simplified it. Here are some more to expand and simplify. So that is going to give us 12w plus 3 minus 15w plus 10. So we are going to have 12w minus 15w plus 3 plus 10. That is going to be minus 3 plus 13. Longer one here, but still follows exactly the same principle. Um, we've got quite a lot of brackets to expand out here. So we have n plus 5 n plus 5, I'm just going to deal with this bit first, that is going to give us n squared plus 5n plus 5n plus 25, let me tidy that up a bit, n squared plus 10n plus 25 minus um, what we have over here which is n plus 3n plus 3. I'm just going to put all of that in a big brackets for the moment. Um, that is going to give us n squared plus 6n uh, plus 9. Remember, this is all minus. So what we're going to end up with is minus n squared minus 6n minus 9. n squared minus n squared, they are just going to cancel. 10n minus 6n is going to give us 4n. 9n, uh, 25 minus uh, 9 is going to give us 16. Um, we've got 4 and we've got something that's a multiple of 4 here, so we can take that outside the brackets and we can do n minus 4. Okay, for this type of expanding the brackets, um, there are a number of different ways that different teachers like um, the arrows drawn. I'll show you both of them, you can decide which one you want, but the really, really important thing is that you are consistent. So you can either draw your arrows like this and inside ones to outside ones um, or you can do your arrows going from one to the other and then from one to the other do not mind which way around you draw your arrows as long as you are consistent i prefer the method on the um, left because you can do this to it and make a smiley face but i know a lot of math teachers prefer the method on the right because it gives you things in the correct order um, one thing that is really really good practice to get in doing is once you've um, used the line just to cross it off so you think you know you've done it um, right, so working out the answers. Um, let's do uh, 
this line first of all. So that is going to give us x squared. Cross off the line and then we are going to get plus 8. Cross off the line then we are going to get um, x. If we do this one here, x plus 4 which will give us plus 4x. Um, then do the middle bit and then we have plus 2x. Now the order that the uh, examiner's like this written is x squared plus this bit, 6x plus 8. This one first, 2x squared minus 3 minus 2x plus 3 x 2x squared plus x minus 3.